Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but it'd be really cool if you did. Completely up to you. I just got done working out. I am sweating. I just put back on my sweatshirt because I'm wearing my workout clothes, and I figured you guys don't want to see that. So I put back on my sweatshirt, and now I'm sweating even more. But, whew. Let me move that out of the frame so you guys don't have to watch football behind me. <laughs> I'm breaking out for some reason. I don't know why. I do want to update you all on everything that has been happening. Today is a Monday, y'all, and I'm sitting here in my beautiful house with my cute cats working out and like, what? So let me explain. If you watched the last video, you saw that we uh, had school canceled on Friday because the hurricane was supposed to come and hit us on Friday. And boy, did it hit us. We were thinking that it wasn't gonna be bad because normally where we are, we're pretty like inland and we don't really get like hit. I mean, like we'll get rain, we'll get wind, but like nothing extreme. Well, the way this one came up through the panhandle on the other side, um, we were like right in its path. So we actually had, not us, but my area had a lot of damage. And even like my neighbors, they just yesterday or the day before, they just fixed their roof because their roof was all messed up from the storm. So they had people out there. And must I say, they did that roof. They redid the whole roof in a day. I was like, you guys are so fast. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we had a lot of damage in our area fences down. We all, I'm pretty sure everybody in like our town city area lost power. We had no power for I think like two days, I think it was. And yeah, it was, we lost power Friday. Was it Friday morning we lost power? It was Friday morning we lost power. And then Saturday, was it Saturday we didn't have power? <laughs> Yeah, so we didn't have power Friday or Saturday. Um, it wound up coming back on, I guess, sun no. It wound up coming back on later on Saturday, which, thank goodness, and I don't, like, I, I didn't know what to do with myself because, obviously, you can't use your phone. I can't use, I can't read my, from my iPad, my book. I mean, I could have read a book, but I read all my books that I own. <laughs> um, it, like, there was nothing to do. We wound up just sleeping the whole time, which worked out really perfectly because I was so sick. I mean, if you watched the last video, you knew that I was sick. But on Friday, you guys, I was so ill. It was absurd how sick I was. Like, I, I couldn't even function as a human. And I've never, like, like, it was just, like, a cold. And I don't know. It just really took me out. I guess from, like, traveling and stuff, I... I don't know what it was, but I was really sick. So I'm feeling, I felt a lot better yesterday and then today I'm obviously feeling so much better. I don't have to cough today, which is great. <laughs> but yeah, so we were fortunate enough and my neighborhood was fortunate enough to get power on pretty quickly. I mean, it was like a two days, a day and a half maybe. And um, there's still people without power. Hence why I'm not at work today. I'm not at school today because, and I don't even work in the town I live in. I work a pretty, good ways away. There's still schools without power. There's still um, trees down that they're trying to clean up. And there's only so many things people can do in this amount of time. Like it was just a weekend. So it's just been so crazy. I wanna thank everybody, all of the lineman workers, all of the people who are helping clean up the trees. But we see the trucks going down and you know, with like the trees, they're carrying big old trees on them. So like shout out to all of them. Thank you all so much because, and the electric workers, I don't know, truly do not know how they work so quickly. And I know there's like people out there that are complaining like, why is my power still not on? And yes, I'm very fortunate to have my power on. It was only a day and a half, two days, but like there's so many other things happening out there that we can't see. So yes, while it's very, very frustrating to not have your power, um, count your blessings, you know, like we're here, we're safe. Anyways, that's my rant for today. But yeah, there's still a lot of people without power and I know there's a lot of things going on to help them, which I'm so thankful for, but um, yeah, 
Luckily, we didn't suffer from like major flooding, which is good, but there are a lot of rivers by us that are supposedly flooding today. Um, so they had like some evacuations by people who live by the rivers and stuff, but <clears throat> yeah, there's just been a lot happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, school's canceled for today. I'm sure we'll be back tomorrow, although in all the emails that have been sent out, it said there'll be a decision made about Tuesday today. So I'm like, part of me is wondering if they're even going to like be back. I don't know, like some of the estimated times for like, not my area, but like areas around are Thursday, Thursday to have power back Thursday. It's Monday. The storm happened on Friday. That's almost a week. That is wild and absurd. And I cannot believe that people have to suffer through that. Like I said, we were just so lucky and I don't even know how we got so lucky. My neighbor has a generator, which is good. So that was like our backup plan if we needed to do it. We didn't wind up like using his generator or anything, but he was very nice enough to offer it. Um, but we will be getting a generator um, from now on because I, that was crazy. At least just to like turn on the fridge and like one light. Like when I tell you we had little tiny can those little candles lit. I today on the agenda just have to finish up my grad school work and edit a video because my power has been out so I haven't been able to do that all weekend. Um, so for grad school, I figured I'd take you along my day today. For grad school, I have an assignment due. I don't even know the name of this class. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I think it's five, EAD 537 if you guys are at GCU. Something about like building a community, I think. <laughs> um, so it's all about like mission and vision statements and like working together, collaborative with stakeholders, stuff like that. So today we have to, or the assignment for this week is we have to make a slideshow and like film a video about it, um, about just a whole bunch of stuff with stakeholders. So I started it yesterday in the morning before um, football because we just, I, I just needed to like get it going. Um, I did email my professor and tell him when I originally didn't know if my power was gonna be back on, like, hey, what are we gonna do here? Because if I don't have power, I can't record a video. Like, yeah, I can go to like Starbucks and sit and make my PowerPoints like slideshow, but I can't sit there and film a video. Like that's really awkward. <laughs> so he might have giving me an extension, but obviously I don't think I'll need it now, but um, I am a couple days behind because of I wasn't able to get any work done. So anyways, doesn't matter. Um, what else? And then I plan to edit a video, but who knows if I'll even get to that today. I think it's about 9.30. I got up, worked out. I'm about to go get ready for the day because who wants to sit in suede clothes? I have to do this hair. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so that is my spiel. For right now, I will bring you along my day today of a teacher on a day off, which is not even supposed to be a day off, but a day off. <laughs> All right, I just got ready for the day. I, it's so funny because I changed into the non-athletic version of what I was wearing. <laughs> so before I was wearing like a crew neck, which I always like to wear the crew necks because the hoodies kind of like annoy me. But I always wear a crew neck when I work out too. And I changed into a hoodie, the non-workout version of the crew neck. And then I just put on my regular black leggings, like my cotton ones, the non-workout version of my other ones. It was just, okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I sound like I'm sick again. Ugh. Anyway, I'm about to make some chocolate milk and sit down and get a roll on my homework. Oh, actually I have to check the milk because when our power went out, we had an unopened milk. Well, it's almond milk, not real milk. Um, and I just wanna make sure like it smells okay. Oh yeah, it's good. You know, you it's good when you can't even smell it. Like there's nothing. No, almond milk, at least this almond milk doesn't really smell. Um, but the other one kind of had like a weird, it was open though, kind of had like a weird smell to it, but it could have just been old in general because, I mean, I don't know, doesn't matter, this one's fine. <laughs> Moving on, I'm making my chocolate milk because you guys know it's my comfort, it's like my coffee. 
um, but it, I don't drink coffee. So I think I've also decided that I'm going to cut my hair short again. I went back and forth about what I wanted to do with my hair because I wanted to grow it out long. I hate this length. I cannot stand the in-between. I hate it. I think it looks so stupid. <laughs> um, so I was debating, I was, and I asked Billy yesterday, I'm like, what do you think I should do? Um, so I decided on cutting it into my bob again. Um, so that's a good couple, good couple inches there. Um, I can't believe how much it's grown in just, when was the last time I got my hair cut? Um, let me think. I think I got a cut before Christmas last year. Yeah, and it grew this much in what month are we in? Nine months. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. But it's funny because my hair lady just texted me the other day and was like, hey, hey. <laughs> and I haven't answered because I didn't know if I wanted to cut my hair, but now I'm gonna tell her that I'm ready and she's gonna be like, girl, why are we cutting it again? <laughs> I go through phases of like what I want with my hair and it's either long or short. And every time I go in there with long hair, and I mean like long down to like here, every time I go in with long hair and I tell them I wanna cut it short, they're like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, trust me, I've done it a million times. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so I'm about to go sit at the computer and get some schoolwork done, drink my chocolate milk. Oh girl, you did not do a good job at stirring. <laughs> and see about tomorrow. I don't know what's going on with tomorrow. All right, it is a couple of hours later at this point. I finished up my schoolwork. I was very excited that I did that. I just have one more part to do and I'm going to do it in just a couple of minutes. I just have to film myself. A lot of what um, the stuff at GCU is, because it's an all online school, is a lot of um, like videos that you have to record and things like that. So you we for this assignment, it's all different every time. Sometimes you just have to write a paper. Sometimes you have to do all these fun, cool things. This time we had to make a slideshow, which I do enjoy making the slideshows because they're more interesting than writing and sitting down and writing a paper. Um, but they do take more time, I will say, because you have to like make it look cute and then you have to do the slides and then you have to like write presenter notes for the slides. So that's what we did today, but I have to go in and present like the, like I'm going to present the presentation in front of like staff. Um, if you don't know, I'm going for admin, by the way, my lips look chapped. Oh, it's cut. Oh, ouch. So yeah, I have to go film that video. So I have to go change into like a blazer and something more presentable in just a minute. But I came on here to tell you that it's only, I don't have my watch on me, 130, 140. And they already canceled school for tomorrow. I don't, like, what is going on out there? I don't know, but I haven't really left because I've just been hearing all of this stuff. And yeah, so they canceled school for tomorrow. They said there's still down trees where buses and like cars can't get through to buildings. And um, they said that a lot of people are still without power. They did not say that the schools didn't have power anymore. Yesterday, they said the schools still didn't, some schools didn't have power. Um, they didn't say that in today's email. Y'all, I don't know what's going on out there. It's crazy. And apparently we're getting another hurricane that's coming up the same way. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? No, that would be crazy. Again, I just want to shout out all these hardworking people that are out here moving trees, fixing electric and all of the things because like crazy, crazy. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that again, we will not be having school tomorrow. So I don't know. And we go back, it'll be a three-day week. And they canceled it so early too, which makes me really nervous because they said that, I don't know, like it just seems really early to cancel school for tomorrow. It's only one o'clock or maybe two o'clock. But yeah, also in other news, this is completely unrelated. I just went on Amazon and bought a fake Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> 
I've been looking at the Dyson Airwrap. I'm like, that is just way too expensive. I just cannot justify, number one, spending that much money. That is an absurd amount of money. What is it, like $500? Almost $600 or something ridiculous like that? Oh, wait, am I wrong? Or is it like $300? Regardless, maybe it's $300. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. <laughs> I still would not spend that much money on a hair tool. Are you kidding me? That is absurd. And I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's lovely. No, I just will not be spent. I got, no, I got too many bills to be paying for to be spending $500 or whatever it is on a hair tool. So I went on Amazon and I've been really thinking about it because I was like, maybe I'll just ask for it as a gift. And I'm like, but that's really an absurd amount of money. Like, I don't think anybody should be paying for that. So then I was like, maybe I'll get like the shark one. The shark one's a little bit cheaper. So I just went on Amazon and I just typed in the air wrap and I looked at all the little dupes that they have and how bad could they be, right? I don't know. This one had, had pretty decent reviews. It had a lot of reviews and it had like maybe 4.5 stars. Um, so it comes with the brush, the two wands for like each direction and then um what's the other one i don't even remember but that's i just really want it for the curling aspect because i feel like when you curl your hair with like a wand or something it just takes so long and i feel like it would just be a lot quicker with the air wrap and i also like i have my air con what is it called con air blow dryer brush which i do like but i feel like I don't know, I feel like it could be a little bit better, you know? So I just bought that, it was $50. I was like, I'd much rather spend $50 on a hair tool that comes with a bunch of stuff rather than $500, like that is absurd. So I just bought that. Um, so it'll be here tomorrow, I'm excited. I'll definitely, my hair is clean today, so I'll probably wash it tomorrow night um, and maybe do my hair tomorrow night and just kind of feel it out for Monday. Or Monday, it's not Monday, it will be Wednesday tomorrow because we don't school what is going on this is what happens when i stay at home all day bored by myself you know i just buy stuff <laughs> i actually normally don't buy anything and billy and i were just talking about this the other day we were talking about how we don't spend like money on ourselves like yeah we'll buy like we'll go out to like a nice dinner or we'll go and like do like an activity or something we normally like don't buy stuff for ourselves so billy bought something for himself the other day and then i was just like you know i've been thinking about this so i'm gonna go on and see so we treated ourselves. We treated ourselves. And we've been doing really good with saving our money and stuff. Obviously, I'm trying to buy a car. If you guys have any car recommendations, actually, for real, let me know. Comment them down below. I am going to start slowly car hunting. We've been just saving some money. I drive an old car that does not have power windows. I quite literally have to do this. Um, and it's actually Billy's grandmother's car that... Um, they let me buy off of them whenever I started driving and I bought it for like a thousand dollars and I still have it from 2016, 15, 2015, like crazy. Um, so yeah, I definitely need a new car soon. So we've been saving up for that. Um, and I'll be getting a new car hopefully really soon, probably by like the end of the year, maybe beginning of next year. Yeah. So any car recommendations I want, I don't want a car, I guess I should clarify i don't want a car i want a like um like a crossover mix thing to give you some perspective <laughs> just telling you now i'm just rambling i want i wanted a chevy traverse i drive a chevy right now billy drives a chevy and we love our chevys um i did want the chevy traverse i thought it was like a perfect size the tahoe was a little bit too big um and the equinox if you guys know what i'm talking about the chevy equinox is just a little bit too small but the Chevy Traverse is so expensive. So it's like 60, 70 grand maybe. So I don't want to spend that much money in a car. I'm looking in like the 30 to 40 range. <laughs> so the Chevy, what did I just say? The Chevy Equinox, I think is probably now the size that I'm going to go. Because like I said, I don't want to spend too much money on a car. And it doesn't have to be new, new, but at least like, you know, like functioning and has power windows. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I've also liked the Nissan, wait, hold on, I had to get, the Hyundai Santa Fe, right, the Nissan, there's a Nissan one that's like a mix, I don't want a small car and I don't want like a big truck, somewhere in between that, I like the Honda Pilot, the new Honda Pilot is really nice, I've been seeing that one a lot around, um, 
the I can't remember any of the names the Kia there's a Kia that looks really nice too but I don't know about Kia because weren't they getting stolen or something and I don't really want that to happen <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, I don't know how we got here. That was a ramble and a half, but I'm going to plop myself on this couch. I'm gonna finish this one episode of Grey's Anatomy. I have 10 minutes left. I'm re-watching all of Grey's Anatomy. I've already watched everything. Um, and then I'm going to film that video for my grad school. And then I'm gonna edit it a little bit, submit it and be done. And then tomorrow, I can't believe I have tomorrow off too. Wow, this turned into a five day weekend. <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. Another day where uh, school is canceled. Um, still don't know about tomorrow. Surely they can't cancel another day. That would be four days because we, they canceled on Friday. Surely they can't do that again, right? We'll find out together. Um, anyways, happy Tuesday. It's going to be a nice chill day at home. I only have a couple of little things that I want to get done on my list. Right now I'm importing some footage for this vlog actually. Um, I just went outside and fixed a chair that fell over onto our fire pit. We have like Adirondack chairs around our fire pit and one of them just fell over and I don't want it to rip the cover for the fire pit. So I just went out there, picked that up and then I got some Drano because whenever Billy grows out his hair, we always have an issue. Um, and we can't get to the inside of it because there's like the cover on it. You guys know like the tubs that have like the thing on it. Um, and I've watched so many videos on how to take it off. Billy's mom actually is like, I know how to do it. I could take it off, just wait for me. And I'm like, no, I literally can't wait. It's so bad, it's so backed up. I've been trying to tell him like, you wanna cut your hair? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go douse the bathtub in some Drano and do it a couple times if I need to, because it's pretty bad. And yeah, so I just ordered that. It came. I'm going to go upstairs, do that really quick, let it sit for a couple minutes and then drain it out. Hopefully it works. Oh my gosh. I've tried the other one, like the clean, I think it's like safe on all pipes or whatever. I was trying to be like, you know, homeowner and be like safe, whatever. It doesn't work. It worked one time. So, I just got the bad, got, got the good stuff this time. Got the got the heavy duty stuff. Um, but if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to take off the top. And obviously, Billy said he would do it. He would just look it up and how to do it. But I'm impatient. You guys know, duh. So I'm like, no. Let me just buy the drain out and see if it works. Because who wants to go through the hassle of trying to figure out how to take that stupid thing off? Some of them are saying you need a screwdriver. Some of them are saying you need pliers. I'm like, y'all, I'm not strong enough for this. But Billy's like, I will do it. I'm like, no, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Let's just do the Drano. The old trick. It'll work, hopefully. But I try not to use a lot because I don't know if it's good on the pipes. I'm sure, like, it can't be, like, chemicals, right? Like, it really can't be. It says it is, but I just feel like that's not true. <laughs> so, hopefully I can do it this time and then we can figure out how to take it off for the future. But it's so bad. I'm mean, about to do that. And then I'm going to meal prep some pasta for lunches this week. If we ever go back. Um, just going to meal prep some pasta and then throw on some sauce and what else am i doing then i'm going to hopefully work out if i feel like it <laughs> i just might want to sit on the couch and watch some Grey's anatomy though that's the problem Billy and i want to hang up some pictures we've been meaning to hang up we just keep forgetting and then don't have time and all the excuses so we're going to do that today billy has off today as well which is so nice so we can hang out together just wanted to update you on what was happening today a fifth in there I don't know maybe I did do a fifth that looks good now we wait 15 to 30 minutes and then repeat if we need to which I think I think we'll need to all right next on the to-do list I want to meal prep some pasta so let's see what pasta we have you guys I don't know why I'm breaking out so bad I thought I've moved past that okay we got some Oh, we actually have two pasta sauce. Okay, cool. I just buy the pasta sauce from Lidl. You guys, it's like a dollar. And I get the meat one. 
It's just so easy. Okay, why is the lighting awful in here? Let's get a pot going. Don't mind all of this, you guys. I say it in every video. Maybe I'll buy the dishwasher today. Maybe I'll put that on my to-do list. I definitely don't need that much water. About to start working out. I just want to say I do like home workouts. I do hit cardio on like YouTube and I just do, it's called No Bad Addiction. I think that's the name of their channel. And that's what I do for workouts. And right now I'm about to do a 15 minute one. I did the same one yesterday and it was really good. I just got a couple of things done. I'm feeling productive. I just did the drain. I had to do it twice because it did not, well, it may have worked the first time, but I didn't, I put on like the tub and you know how like the tub water comes out a lot faster. Um, so it filled up a lot quicker and I was just like, okay, it didn't work. So I did it again. But then that time I did the tub and then I did the shower. So I let that go and then it was fine. So I wound up just like cleaning it and like scrubbing it nice and good throughout our little loofahs that we had. I put some fresh ones in there. So upstairs, this is a three bedroom house. We have, um, a guest bedroom upstairs and then a man cave and I guess Billy redid his whole man cave last night <laughs> probably while I was sleeping um he's such a night owl so it's so funny I can't wait to hear about everything he did that is the update for right now the rest of the day I'm just gonna chill Billy's still sleeping it's still pretty early yeah I'm probably gonna end this video here actually I was just editing and I saw that it was getting pretty long so I am gonna end this here and hopefully be able to get like a little bit caught up on videos. It's been so hard with grad school. Last year I posted two videos every week and this year it's been one video because I just can't keep up with grad school work and then having to edit videos. So yeah, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to stick around and see some more, don't forget to subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.